A new book has described a tense encounter between Meghan Zayden's staff at an upscale New York restaurant. Meghan Markle stood watching as her handler aggressively pressed a maitre d' to get them a table, according to a new book. The aide allegedly told staff Meghan was about to be a duchess during the 2017 incident. The alleged encounter took place at Michelin Star Le Cuckoo in New York City when Meghan and her handler showed up 20 minutes before their reservation. Her aide demanded a private table because it's for someone who is dating a prince, according to maitre d' Michael Secchi Art Selena in his new book Your Table is Ready, Tales of a New York City Maitre d'. However, Mr. Secchi Art Selena, who had worked at the restaurant for two years, said, I still don't have a private table for you. In the new book, Mr. Secchi Art Selena quotes Meghan's handler, Are you aware my guest is dating Prince Harry and about to be a duchess? Don't you have a private area for us to wait? Mr. Secchi Art Selena was unmoved by the comments. My first impulse was to laugh. I could give two s about Prince Harry's date, and by the attention the escort was drawing from the crowd at the bar, nor did anyone else, he told the New York Post. He described Meghan, who was totally silent during the encounter, as aloof. He added, We get the most powerful people in the world that come here, no one really cares about you. Mr. Secchi Art Selena's book, which comes out December 6, reportedly also details other high profile customers he found rude and horrid. The announcement of the memoir comes as celebrity restaurateur drama is fresh in the headlines. An ongoing feud between James Corden and Balthazar owner Keith McNally erupted last week when Mr. McNally took to Instagram to slam James Corden after he allegedly told a server you can't do your job. Earlier in the summer, however, Mr. McNally posted to Instagram to rescind the ban after he said Mr. Corden apologized for the incident. Mr. McNally said, James Corden just called me and apologized profusely. Having f up myself more than most people, I strongly believe in second chances. So if James Corden lets me host his late late show for nine months, I'll immediately rescind his ban from Balthazar. No, of course not. But, anyone magnanimous enough to apologize to a deadbeat layabout like me, and my staff, doesn't deserve to be banned from anywhere. Especially Balthazar. Meghan and Prince Harry married in 2018, the year after the alleged incident at Le Cuckoo. Many questioned Markle's motive for joining the royal family. While some were convinced that the couple got married because they love each other, some just couldn't accept it. One netizen took to Quora and asked if Markle married the Duke of Sussex to increase her fame. According to Nazia Hassan, an accountant, it's possible. For her, Markle had little conventional Hollywood appeal and was reaching for way above what her average look could get in Hollywood. She pointed out that Markle couldn't get there on looks alone. She also added how Markle married a producer who cast her in a movie and paid her a salary. When she landed a role on Suits she left California and shortly after that she ended their marriage because she had no use for her husband. Fast forward she never had a serious relationship until Prince Harry came along and became her savior. All her life's ambitions could come true yet still, that fame and money she sought all her life were now shining on a silver platter and more. Palaces, princess, pounds. One last chance and too good to pass, Hassan wrote. Maybe you can't see it. But I can see the pattern here, the pattern I see is, if you cannot get rich and famous on your own, use someone else to do it for you. Charlie Davis, co-founder of FameFlux.com confirmed that Markle's fame has increased after she married Prince Harry. In fact, her fame peaked during the royal wedding. Janine Tuccarelli felt the same. She referenced Markle's friends whom the royal cut out of her life and who called her a social climber. Cut out of her life.